Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about a special test called the ringing test. That is ringing with a W, as in you're ringing out a towel, trying to get the water out of it. So the ringing test is not by any means a specific or strongly diagnostic special test. It is a screening special test that gives you an idea of where you might wanna go with certain upper extremity symptoms, okay? So again, it is not diagnostic, it is not specific, but it can guide your examination if you're looking at elbow pain or wrist pain or something like that. So to understand this, let's go into the special test right now. So to perform the ringing test, the patient's gonna be positioned either in sitting or standing, as you see over here. And you're gonna need one of two things to do this test. You're either gonna need a rolled towel like this, like you're actually gonna wring out a towel, or if you have a flex bar in your clinic, you can also get by with one of those. So the patient is instructed to tightly grasp this rolled towel with an overhand grip, or if you're using a flex bar, you can do that as well. And they're gonna grip it tightly. And then the patient is instructed to wring the towel like you would if you're trying to squeeze water out of it. So one hand, or wrist I should say, is going into wrist flexion, and the other one's going into wrist extension, and vice versa. And you basically wanna use quite a bit of force and just alternate, so it'll look like this. So tightly grasp, and then as you see right there, my right hand here is going into wrist flexion, and over here on the left, I'm going into wrist extension, okay? And then you wanna reverse that, okay? Vice versa, so now my left hand there is going into wrist flexion, and my right side is going into wrist extension. And you can do this any number of times until you're confident with the result. So what is the result? What constitutes a positive test? Well, it depends on the presentation, right? So let's suppose the patient presents with numbness, tingling, or shooting pain, and it appears to be in the medial nerve distribution. Well, the most likely diagnosis there would be carpal tunnel syndrome. Now, this is not an exact diagnostic test. So if you suspect, based on the results here, that the person may have carpal tunnel syndrome, you're going to follow that up with more specific carpal tunnel syndrome special tests, okay? You should not rely on this test as a definitive diagnosis. This is basically a screening special test. So based on the result here, you would go and dive in further. Now, what about elbow pain? Well, in this test, let's say I'm talking about my right elbow over here. Well, in one part of the test, it goes into wrist extension, and in the other part of the test, it goes into wrist flexion. So let's start this over, looking at the right elbow. Let's say that's my symptomatic side. Well, right there, I'm going into wrist flexion. Now, if you remember, the wrist flexors tend to be affected in medial epicondylitis, so golfer's elbow. So if in this position for the right side, I had pain reproduction on my medial elbow, then that would warrant more special tests for golfer's elbow or medial epicondylitis, okay? Let's continue the test. For the right side, I'm then going to reverse it, okay? And now on my right side, I'm going to wrist extension. Now remember the wrist extensors uh, particularly the extensor carpi radialis brevis, but sometimes others, tends to be affected in tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis. So if this part of the test on my right side reproduced pain in the lateral elbow, uh, then I would want to look further into special tests for lateral epicondylitis, like Maudsley's test, Cozen's test, etc. All right. So again, this test is more of a screen. It may give you a better idea of where to look. The nice thing about it is it's really easy to perform. It doesn't really take any special skills. You're just wringing out a towel. But you do have to pay attention to, is the wrist going into flexion or extension? Because that can also guide where you go in, the, in future testing. And again, wrist pain. Now, wrist pain is very broad here. It could reproduce wrist pain. But again, the diagnosis here depends on the exact pain location and other subjective and objective findings, okay? So it could reproduce wrist pain more on the radial side. It could do it more on the ulnar side. If it's more ulnar, then maybe you should look at the TFCC, okay? If it's more radial, maybe you should look at uh, De Quervain's tinnitus or something like that. 
Okay, so again, just a screening special test. It is not exactly diagnostic. It kind of guides you where you may want to go from there. Okay, so hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of the ringing test. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button for notifications for all videos in the future. Thank you so much.